Hey guys, welcome to Johnny Ray's Backwoods Guns. Um, tonight I'm going to do a video uh, for my reloading channel, Reloading with Johnny Ray. I'm going to do it a little different tonight. Um, I own a gun shop in Huntington, West Virginia. Small town, small gun shop. Uh, mostly I sell guns. The second thing I sell is ammo. The third thing uh, I sell is cleaning supplies. And the fourth thing I sell is reloading. That's my most four most popular items. And so about this time of the year, when deer season's starting to come to a close, a lot of guys just gun hunt. All right, there's a few guys that doe hunt and a few guys that black powder hunt, but most guys just gun hunt first week, week and a half, and then they're done. Well, they want to know how to clean your gun. Um, there's a million different ways to clean your gun. I'm not saying mine's the perfect way, mine's the right way, mine's the only way. But I get the job done. Um, hell, I even got a U.S. Marine Scout sniper book right here. Uh, now don't get me wrong, I was never a U.S. Marine sniper, uh, but it's even got a section on how to clean your gun, okay? And I've read it backwards and forward, all right? Uh, we want to clean it in a proficient manner. Anyway, um, I'll show you how I clean my rifles, and maybe uh, one day I'll do a video on cleaning pistols. But today we're going to do a, a video on cleaning rifles. Stick around, guys. I'll show you how to do it. Okay guys, let's do a little shopping in my store. First, first and foremost, this is what we need. This is the number one product that I sell for cleaning bores. Hops number nine. Uh, we're gonna need one of these, one of these, and uh, probably a little bit of oil, and of course some patches. Um, I'll, uh, I'll meet you guys over at the uh, bench. Okay guys, um, as with any uh, project I start, I try to clear me out a work area and my reloading uh, press is over there on my workbench. And so I think uh, I'll just use this counter. Of course, I don't want to mess up the glass. So let's, uh, let's set this up and uh, we'll uh, get started. I believe we're going to uh, I shot this gun a couple weeks ago. I already cleaned it once. Uh, actually, I shot it yesterday too and hadn't cleaned it yet. So, uh, okay, guys, we're ready to get started. A um, couple of things I uh, um, always recommend people getting is a uh, competition. Uh, a competition cleaning uh, rod, okay? Get your competition cleaning rod and get you a uh, bore guide, okay? Uh, I picked a couple things off my shelf, brand new. You don't need new stuff, okay, guys? If you got the old stuff, it works good. Um, I got some hops number nine. I got an old little squirt bottle. I'll tell you about that later. I got some Remington oil. Any kind of gun oil will work, just good quality gun oil. I got some little Q-tips, some patches. And uh, I've got my uh, slotted tipped, my jag, my wire brush, and my, well, I call it a mop. It's just a uh, brush you saturate it with the hops and when you get started. And then I got a silicone gun cloth to wipe it down when we get done. And, of course, I got my little cleaning kit. It's got all my different calibers and whatnot. But that's here and there. Here or there. All right, guys. Okay, guys, let's start at the bolt. Um, got a release over here. Just pull the bolt out. Um, for as long as I've been hunting, I've never had to disassemble one of these bolts, okay guys? I don't think you're going to have to unless you drop this and immerse it into three foot of mud or a creek or whatnot. So I wouldn't, for normal maintenance, um, normal use, you never, I mean, it's very rare. Uh, so anyway, what I do, uh, Remington oil, any kind of oil is used to lubricate, plus it's used, it, it'll lift dirt, okay? So what I do, I just put a light coat on this, and I set it over here and let it soak for a minute um, in an old coffee lid, uh, coffee can lid, uh, while I'm cleaning the barrel. Okay, let's get to the barrel. I like these uh, cleaning rods that have a uh, free spinning handle on it. You can see it just, it's, it's free spinning. 
So it's going to let your rod shove down into your barrel and it's going to let it follow your lands and grooves you're rifling and it's actually going to get in there and, and uh, clean it better. I use a copper uh, rod. I don't like using a plastic or any kind of steel rods or aluminum, okay? I like copper. Copper is softer than uh, steel, so it's not going to do any damage if something would happen. Um, I like these bore barrels, uh, bore, um, these barrel guides, these bore guides, whatever you want to call it, okay? Make sure you got 30 caliber uh, ends on it. Slide it in your uh, chamber. You can lock it right down in place. Okay, guys, uh, first of all, we want to use the uh, mop end. We want to saturate. Uh, I wouldn't call it saturate. I would just call it uh, uh, get some cleaning uh, solution down the barrel. This is Hops 9. I just put it in a squirt bottle. Okay, this don't have a squirt end on it. This does. So I just mix some up, poured it in that to that. And I use this opening of this cleaning, this bore uh, guide. And I wet that mop down, and then I run it down the barrel, holding on to the end, so it'll follow the rifling. See, it came out here, follow it back up. More than likely, that first pass, second pass, um, you don't have to reapply this, but just for the hell of it, we'll reapply it today. We'll get that real good and clean. Always keep me a towel here. Now, if this was a uh, had wood furniture on it, real nice wood furniture, I would uh, try to protect it. But this is synthetic all-weather furniture, so I'm not worried about it. Now, I want to go to my wire brush. So I'm going to take my mop off. Start my wire brush, 30 caliber wire brush. Now, there's two chains of thought here, guys. Um, now, once again... I'll just put a light coat of the hops on that wire brush. All right, a lot of guys will get that damn thing started. Hold on to the end. Run your wire brush down. Now, I know a lot of guys will take the wire brush off right here. If I was shooting 1,000-yard competition, F-class competition, sure. Uh, I guess I'd be that paranoid or worried about it, but I'm not shooting that. This is, uh, this is for a hunting rifle. Um, 200 yards probably maximum shot I'm going to get. And then I just pull it back through. Reinsert. Do it again. I'll run it through three or four times. Try to hold on to the uh, end of the rod. So it spins freely. It's flexible, which that's what you want. Okay, enough of that. Now I want to go to my 30 caliber jag. And I'm going to use uh, cleaning patches on this. Make sure it's nice and tight. Tighten it up. 30 caliber patches. Let it pierce it. Of course, it never works when you got the camera on. There we go. Same process. I'm going to run this straight down, get it started, using the end of the uh, clean rod. You can see that's filthy, okay guys? That's one pass. I reconfirm a lot of stuff. That's the second pass. And I checked in my... Uh, Marine, U.S. Marine Corps Scout Sniper Training Manual, and the U.S. government says to run the uh, bore brush and the uh, patches uh, down the barrel.
a minimum of 20 times, which is hilarious, but that's our U.S. government force. Uh, not making fun of them, but I uh, just think that no one knows how many times to uh, run your bore brush down, and nobody knows how many times to run these patches down. Okay, guys, you just run them down till it's clean, till it feels loose, smooth, and it's clean. So let's see, this is our third patch. Damn, that's uh, that's almost clean right there. One more and it'll do it. All right. Now, that's the uh, fourth patch. Hang on, I knocked one over. If you ever try to do something, um, try to do it on camera. You'll, I guarantee you, you'll screw something up. That was the first, second, third, fourth. Now a lot of guys will run another one through. But if you know me and you watched my videos before, you realize that I love my uh, air compressor. So I usually take my air compressor, blow it out real good. I blow both the ends. Now, you want to uh, put a light coating of oil on this, uh, the inside of your barrel. So, go ahead and put one more uh, patch on your uh, JAG, as they call it, J-A-G. If you uh, watch any of my videos, you'll know that uh, I'm from West Virginia. And I speak with a uh, West Virginia hillbilly dialect. Now I can change my voice and speak real slow, draw out my vowels, but that's not me, guys. So just put a couple drops of oil on this. Same process. Got to get it started. And run it right down your barrel. And maybe that's not the uh, textbook way from the Marine Corps or the textbook way from uh, Hops or Remington, but that's my, uh, my uh, way of cleaning the barrel. And that's good enough for me, guys. Now, back to my bolt, okay? I, uh, I do take a Q-tip. I do put a tiny bit of hops in here. And I do try to clean this out with Q-tip. Okay. And that's about, I might clean the inside of the, the bolt handle a little bit. Get that uh, carbon out of it um, from the gunpowder residue and whatnot. And then, of course, I take my... air compressor blow it off real good that's pretty much what I do for my bolt I'll set that bolt there now my chamber throw to my barrel my feeding ramps uh, my chamber I'll take your slaughtered rod and I'll throw a bigger patch in it, on it, and I'll just clean out my chamber, and I'll try to clean out the, uh, the, uh, throat a little bit. Just trying to get all the, uh, blue stuff out that I didn't catch. Right there, and you can move it around in there. You know, I'm just going about right there, down the throat, and the feeding ramps. And, um, you can see it got a little bit, but it's not, it, there's not much there. Now I'll, uh, once again, I'll take my air pressure, slow it out real good. 
Now, like I said, unless you immerse this gun in water, fall down in a creek, fall down, drop it in mud, whatnot, I, very rarely do you have to do anything to this uh, chamber. But if you need to, you can take a wire brush. Uh, I take a uh, wire brush. Um, give me a second. I take a wire brush that I uh, came with one of my pistols, um, and I'll just uh, run it down in there. Move it around a little bit. If you want to take a toothbrush in there and loosen it up, um, that's fine. Then I reinsert my bolt. And then I uh, take my lens caps off. I, these things cost like 99 cents, okay? Fog eliminator. It's just a, uh, looks like a wet nap full of some kind of chemical. And I take and Clean the scope with it, both ends. Unless it's filthy, that, that'll that pretty much do it. I uh, put my scope caps back on, and these scope caps are clear, so you can actually take some of that fog eliminator and clean them up with it. It does a real good job. Then I'll move to uh, my finishing stages, okay guys? I'll, uh, these hop silicon cloth. You can take a diaper if you want to. You can take flannel cloth if you want to. But uh, I'll take, uh, spray a little bit of oil on this, just lightly, just dampen it down, and I'll throw a little oil on my barrel. And then I just uh, wipe down the barrel get this where you can see what I'm doing and that's that's about all you I try to get the fingerprints off where people's handled it where I've handled it and uh, because your fingerprints have salt in it moisture uh, these parkerized barrels stainless steel barrels uh, they uh, they fight uh, fight rust and corrosion but it'll still leave a mark if you just take a silicon cloth like this wipe down your barrel real good um, get all the moisture, like I said, and salt from your hands off of it. Uh, you're, you're in good shape. And then I'll put that in the gun case. I'll put it in uh, uh, a gun, gun sock, or I'll just put it in my gun safe, and it's ready till the next time I go to shoot, whether it be a week, be a month, or probably be six months or a year. I shoot this gun a lot, so I'm sure I'll shoot this again in about a month. But, uh, that's it. That's how I clean my bolt actions. Okay, guys, um, feel smooth. I do a function uh, function check, make sure everything's working. And uh, it's ready to be stored. Okay, guys, that's it. That's it on the uh, clean the 308. I, uh, that's how I do it. Now, like I said, I don't know if that's the best way, perfect way, but it's always worked for me. I appreciate you watching my videos, appreciate any subscriptions, uh, likes, shares, comments, leave me a comment if you've got an idea of how I can improve my cleaning uh, methods. Guys, I, uh, I reviewed a couple of videos today and I looked in that Marine Scout Sniper book and of course I've read that thing backwards and forwards because I like doing shooting drills out of it, but it's amazing what you can learn just reviewing stuff. Uh, I picked up a couple little uh, tidbits that I'd forgot about. So anyway, guys, I'm open for suggestion. Anything you can uh, put in the comment box and help me with my cleaning process, my loading process, I'd be more than welcome to uh, think about it with an open mind. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for uh, watching my video. Remember to subscribe. Have a good day.